CBD, short for cannabidiol, is a non-psychoactive compound in cannabis responsible for many of cannabis's medical benefits. On the other hand, THC, short for tetrahydrocannabinol, is the psychoactive compound in marijuana that causes the high associated with cannabis use. They are two completely separate cannabinoids, which are a class of chemical compounds that interact with special receptors in our body called cannabinoid receptors. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, an American neurosurgeon and CNN's chief medical correspondent, changed his stance on the prohibition of cannabis while investigating its powerful therapeutic properties and witnessing CBD successfully treat Americans. He shocked mainstream America saying, we have been terribly and systematically misled for nearly 70 years in the United States, and I apologize for my role in that. Through Dr. Gupta's review of the history of cannabis, he found that it has been a legitimate medicine for at least 3,000 years. And Dr. Gupta isn't alone in supporting cannabis research. The director of the National Institute on Drug Abuse, Dr. Nora Volkov, testified before the Senate saying that CBD appears to be a safe drug with no addictive effects, and the preliminary data suggests that it may have therapeutic value for a number of medical conditions. Research has shown that CBD can influence many conditions and bodily functions, including inflammation, neuropathic pain, autoimmune disease, energy regulation, metabolism, reproductive function, appetite, depression, anxiety, and even cancer. But how can one cannabinoid affect so many bodily processes without causing adverse side effects? The answer lies in our biochemistry, the natural intelligence of the body. We have naturally occurring cannabinoid receptors all over our body that interact with CBD. We have these receptors because our body is constantly making its own cannabinoids. These receptors and cannabinoids make up most of our endocannabinoid system, or ECS. Our ECS is always in action, and if functioning properly, is a major factor in keeping us healthy. Many doctors now think that some people suffer from an endocannabinoid imbalance, known as clinical endocannabinoid deficiency, or CED. People suffering from CED may benefit by supplementing with cannabinoids such as CBD. CBD is the most abundant cannabinoid in hemp, a cannabis crop the federal government allowed individual states to legalize in the 2014 Farm Bill. Hemp-derived CBD is legal in all 50 states, is non-addictive, does not cause a high, and is easy to incorporate into your current health routine. Visit our website to get your CBD now.